I'm bored. Let me call Huey and see what she's doing. Faster than you could say, Yato. I'll give you anything you need, Huey. Yato, where have you been all day? At Huey's. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you disappeared again or something. Oh, Yukina, you do care. Do not. I just need to make sure you're not out being an irresponsible dirtbag. Yukina, I would never. Irresponsible dirtbag always describes you perfectly. Hey. You're gonna... What? I got Yuri's cold. Guys can get cold? Of course we can! Well, take care of me! No way! You can take care of yourself! Come on, Yukina! Well, maybe I only got this cold because you weakened my immune system or something. I didn't do anything! Don't deny it, you rascally prat! I didn't do anything! Then you're just gonna leave your poor, lonely master all alone to rot in the bedroom while you go to work? I'm... Okay, Yato, I have to go meet Kazuma for some training. I'll be back in a few hours. Kazuma! Sorry I'm late. I had to take care of Yato. Do I want to know? No. That's what I did. Let's just begin. I brought plenty of paint today. Okay. You get it. Restraint. Oh, yeah. that much? What's with the face, you know? <laughs> uh, that was unlucky timing, huh? Uh, sorry. Anyway, let's go again. Okay. Yato gave me his cold, I'm gonna kill him. Good morning, Yukina! Yato, you gave me your nasty cold! You didn't say Shinki could get colds. Well, we can't. But at least we're together now! No! Kazuma! Yes? Can you help me carry this stuff to the farm room? Of course. Perfect! I'm sure that sweaty homeless slob is to blame for this. Um, that's a little random, isn't it? No, you see, you were training with Shinky yesterday, right? Yes. Yoto's disgusting germ must have been transferred. Oh. Actually, you can have did sneeze in my face, but it could be a coincidence. Plus, those would be you can have germs, not Yoto's. No, it was him. No, it was him. Are you feeling feverish now? Yes, but it's not time of my judgment. If you don't see it, then you're the one who's too feverish. We must go slay him. But... Gather the others. We'll head out in ten minutes. 
Go ahead and tell that sweaty homeless slob to prepare himself for the wrath of Bijamon! You pass it to me and Vina as well, but apparently that's irrelevant. Oh, well, see you in battle, I guess. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Woo! Are you alright? Yes, yes. I just should have brought Kuda, I think. Yato? No? Bishamon-sama is coming to sleep. What? Why? I don't know. Well, we gotta prepare. Ow! Sick it! Seriously? She doesn't even need Kazuma-san to find you here. Dang it! You! Sweaty homeless slob! Poor disgusting weirdo! How dare you give me your nasty cold! I didn't give you a cold. Once again, the real cold is right under your nose. Or should I say, hanging right in your ear. What did you say? Come here so I can beat you, you sweaty homeless slob! Or no, you come here. But meet in the middle. Fine. Can we be done now? No! I didn't say anything, idiots! I was talking you can't dirty diaper! <laughs> Hadred more. That's impossible. Yuki. You want some hot tea? Yeah. Can you make it for me? No. I want to rip all the hairs off of his head and glue it to his chin. Then twist his arms and legs into neat little bows and use him as a seasonal decoration. And what season would that be, you know? The season of joy. Sponsored by Foxy Dad and Foxy Mama.